This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the amazing singer, songwriter, musician, the one and only Madison. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at the official music video of Madison's song, Fiction. Madison, how are you? Hi, Will. I'm doing great. I'm so busy with my music right now. Well, I mean, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to speak with me today. And I'm so excited. I mean, this is what I love. I love you're in you're in beautiful British Columbia in Canada. Here I am in New York City. I've already spoken with artists today in Korea, Singapore, China, LA, Australia, and London. This is what I love about this app, connecting artists truly from all over the world. And you are an incredible artist, Madison. And I would just want to deep dive into what was the idea for you specifically behind not only writing the song fiction, but the music video, the whole concept for it? Yeah, well, yeah, just first off, thank you so much for having me on this interview. I'm, I'm really happy to share some of my music with everyone. Um, fiction came from my self-reflections album. So uh, that the whole concept for that was very like coming of age, like very much all of these things that I've been writing about since I started writing when I was like 12. And so it was just like very much like a self-reflection of the last, you know, 10 years of music. So fiction, um, that song actually stemmed from a bit of a traumatic experience that I went through. And so that song was, was me processing that experience and kind of healing from it and trying to see through um, something that, that was really hard to deal with. And so then the music video was kind of me coming out of that shell. So if you watch the video, like I'm in the loft bedroom scene and then I like go up into the hole in the ceiling and I like immerse out into this like beautiful forest and lake. And so that's kind of like me coming out of the darkness. And so that was um, a lot of the music video was was inspired through that. I love that. Almost has like a, I don't want to say Alice in Wonderland like quality to it, but a little bit of a fairy tale or dare I say- It's definitely fairy tale esque And it's, it's beautiful. And I think it's also something uh, the concept of the video and the audience can see the full video with the links right below this video. Um, this whole notion that we've all had time as people to be still and probably maybe move through some trauma that's been kind of hidden for many years. So I think that this music video in your song is, is timely and timeless. Well, thank you. Yeah, I actually um, did a uh, kind of interview type thing um, with music mental health. And I talked about this song specifically and how it, it really helped me through a dark time. And now I have that beautiful piece of music to kind of take with me 
And that was like a tangible piece of my healing. That's right. Really. Yeah. Well, and not only healing for you, but healing for those who get to listen to it. So beautiful job, Addison. I want to talk a little bit as well about maybe some music that you've been working on that we haven't heard yet. Um, you obviously seem like you've been very busy during this pandemic. Give us a little sneak peek of maybe some of the songs, upcoming EPs, maybe album that the audience can expect in the coming months or year. Yeah, for sure. Well, I just actually found out some exciting news that I can't completely disclose, but I, I did get funding for my second album. Congratulations. So I just found that out, which is really awesome. Thank you. Um, and so I've been writing these songs that are going to go on this album for the last maybe year. It's kind of I took a year off after I put out my album in 2020. And then just all of this processing of everything that's been going on since I've been writing the second album. So it it's very much like it's bigger than debut, but it's also going more back into my roots. And the sounds that are on Self Reflections are very diverse. Like there's reggae, there's rock and roll, there's some like folk tronica ballads. So I want to refine my sound a little bit more on this second album. So I think that's definitely what people can expect. It's gonna be going back more into my roots, but definitely like bigger lyrical themes and, and songwriting. Um, I'm, I'm digging like a little bit deeper on this one. So as always, people can expect a big vocal performance because I'm going to put my whole vocal self into it. And that's really what I'm channeling for this one. That's amazing. Well, listen, I want to, before I ask my final question, just let everyone know for more on the incredible Madison, you can read more about her right below this video. Madison, when did you realize you had this voice? Um... I think I was like seven. Yeah, seven or eight. And I went in a talent show. I mean, I've been singing and I grew up around music, like from a really young age, like two. Yeah. I was performing and dancing and such. And so it's it's been in me since I can remember, really. Do you remember um, what that song was at the talent show? Yeah, it was. It was um, Jesus Take the Wheel by Carrie Underwood. <laughs> I freaking love it. And I was so country when I was young. And you can hear that bleed into my music now. And it does. It really does. But there's a lot more like growing up uh, with like Mariah Carey and like Destiny's Child. There's also like a soul influence in my music. Yeah, there's a soulful pop sensibility. Yeah, so that's kind of like, I'm excited to really channel that for this album, this second album. Well, listen, Madison, I can't wait. I know everyone watching can't wait. And again, for more on the incredible Madison, you could read more about her right below this video. Madison, I'm so excited you're coming on board this exciting new social media app, Phoenix 360. But in addition to that, selfishly, I am happy that we are now connected. Yes, me too. And I knew that like, as soon as I had kind of made this connection with Phoenix, I was like, yes, this is definitely going to be something good down the road and connect with you and like the other artists they are going to be on the platform. Like, it's going to be so cool. Amen. I agree.